So I want to talk about what it means to impose your own identity on the discussion of the systems that are at stake now in the way that existing elite women are going to. So I want you to look for a woman called Kate Belgrave and I want you to look at her blog and what she's been trying to transcribe is by about 2010, mid-2010, maybe 11, we had realised that it was dangerous to be that, you know, new statesman editors would put your kid at risk of violence, that, you know, Owen Jones would whip up abuse, that you would be physically threatened and harmed if you discuss these people. But if you go through Kate Boyle Gray's blog, what you'll find is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of case studies. And they're the people that she's met and spent her time in job centres with and spent time with working with their housing discretionary payments to try and look at these processes. And we've had to do this to silence. And we've had to watch people really be harmed. We've had to watch particularly people with learning disabilities, people, you know, who've left domestic abuse, women, people who should have been covered by the rule of law that was not recognised by our elite media class. And much like when women said, actually, the Gender Recognition Act is a problem, you can say that and nothing will happen. So we first of all thought our trade unions were going to do something, but our trade unions actively sought unison purge members who discussed austerity. And PCS used the media power that gave Owen Jones's career, and everybody else did. They went out of their way to stop us, which was a bit of a shock, really. But I think everybody's seen the state of things at The Guardian. So when those same women say that we're going to take what women have just done and recognition of those systems and we're going to wrap it up in our identities, what they're saying is this. We have already actively prevented these people in challenging them being abused by the state in every single way possible. We have had these people beg us not to do this. And even we have their trade unions political party and newspaper, we're going to actively prevent them from challenging this and discussing political consensus when it insults our identity here because we only want to hear things that fit our political identity. Except it's doing it while these systems are failing and a country is unstable because of it and it's doing it after 100,000 people have died. It's actively saying oh look, these people have acted even though we had all their political machinery and we're going to take away that. And we're going to use solidarity as a whip and we're going to make it dangerous for them like it was made for Posey Parker. If they discuss this and women have had their moment and now they'll sit the fuck down because we're elite women and we will do this. No, you fucking won't. When you recreate your political structures on this, you're doing so because you actively prevented anybody discussing the rule of law being undermined. You actively prevented equality being rolled back. And every one of those women and people that Kate Belgrave has written about, they pay for it, just as they've paid for it in the last eight years. And I'm not pretending for the sake of fake solidarity so that those people can be rolled over again. Those people are not being rolled over again. We are having the conversation about the rule of law that was undermined and we're having it whether these media cultures stop us or not. It really is that simple. We're having that conversation.